What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Fans Project's Retro Future Glacial Lord Tail Club. Uh, this is the first, well, there's three figures that they've uh, released so far. Um, unfortunately, not yet to the general public of the area. Their uh, Retro Future line, which is basically, they're making G1 toys. And they're great. <laughs> I mean, they're G1 toys made of modern, solid plastic but they basically made their own G1 combiner. And uh, as far as I know, the fiction is that he's the Autobot version of Predaking. I've heard that thrown around. Don't know if it's, you know that's what's official or not, but whatever. Um, they're basically making a G1 combiner using fairly, you know, using modern engineering, but with the blockiness of G1, and it's just it's fantastic. I love it. So I didn't take, I didn't bring the box, the box, I threw the box in storage, but the boxes are cool because they're all uh, sun faded, they're purposefully sun faded and the corners look like they're ripped, um, like it's a G1 figure, they come packaged in styrofoam, um, they come in pieces because um, some of these pieces come off, um, they even created a gimmick, and so they come with these little dudes, um, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> You know, they don't have an official name. Unfortunately, there's no fiction yet. Um, there was no comic book. The only instructions that came with it were G1 style fold out instructions on how to transform them. They don't even tell you where the stickers go. Oh, they give you a sticker sheet. I'll talk about the sticker sheet in a second, but. So they created these new little dudes and they basically, you'll see how uh, they interact with the, uh, the overall figure. Let me get him into robot mode. But here's a quick shot of, uh, of this dude. Uh, I don't know if they're going with the Transtector gimmick with him being Tail Club and the other one being the Transtector. I honestly don't know because there's no fiction yet, like I said. But uh, it's standard articulation on these guys, except that uh, the legs aren't aren't riveted together. So arms forward all the way, forward and back all the way, just riveted. Bends at the waist, and also bends at the the knee up for the. Uh, for the combination. But yeah, again, really cool little dude. They're actually all individually molded. They're not the uh, they're not the same figure remolded. They're actually they actually are unique. So we're gonna be taking a look at a few of these. Uh, I picked these guys up at TFCon. I was one of the last people to get Tusker, which is the the torso bit, the torso piece. Um. So yeah, there was eight when I got up to the booth. Um. So the guy was one guy in front of me. So uh, I was, he was number eight, I was number seven. So there were six left after I left, and as soon as I turned my back, they were sold out. So I got one of the last ones. But yeah, these guys will be going on sale to the general public soon, I think. I hope. Uh, as far as I know, obviously the first three are dunks, I have them. And they're packaged and ready to go and everything, so. Uh, these guys also came on little blister cards, which was, which was pretty cool. So yeah, that's this little dude. I'll take a look at him more in a minute. Um, but yeah, like I said, these guys also came with stickers, so all these, all this detail is stickers, and what's weird is half the stickers were applied already. Um, this guy, I, I literally put the least amount into. I put this sticker on, um, one of these shoulder stickers, one of these stickers here, I think, and this sticker here. Other than that, the rest, the head stickers were all already applied, so they applied half of them. I guess to show you kind of where they go, which is kind of weird, but whatever. It's cool. You know, we got stickers, got G1 figures. I mean, I a lot of people are hating on these guys, but I really, really, really like them. I mean, once you handle them and play with them, you'll I guarantee you'll like them. If you like, if you like the G1 aesthetic, if you like G1, you like G1 combiners, you need to get these guys. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So yeah, so we take he is. I don't know what kind of animal he is. They are all prehistoric creatures. I'm not big on zoology and such, so I don't know exactly what kind of animal he is, but he's this dude. Anyway, you can pop this bit off. Well, let me show you the, uh, they do all have, these little dudes all have another gimmick besides the gimmick I'm going to show you in robot mode. They all have like a beast rider mode. So if you see there's a cut in the top here, uh, it matches the cut in his feet. So you can plug him in there and you can have him ride him. 
just a cool way to get him to integrate them, you know, in ro in, in alt mode, beast mode. So yeah, there's that, which is really cool. I did like that. So you pop this off. Uh, this just pegs on. There's two holes right there, and there's two pegs right there, and the grooves line up with the the cut in the back legs. It just pegs on. Um, what's also great is these guys you can transform them back and forth in seconds, much like a G1 figure. So like, you, I just literally sit at my desk and, and transform them all day. I never get tired of it. So this is going to be the foot of the combiner, and it's also going to be a shield for him in uh, robot mode. Set that off this side. Unplug this. Unplug the tail, and that just this two these two parts here slot in right here, just like that. So unplug that for now. So to transform him the rest of the way, what we're going to do is pull the head straight off, and then come under here and fold this bit up, and then we're also going to pop the horn up on his head. Take the tail club part, the tail part, and there's a hole right here and a groove, and we're just going to connect those together. I like to fold the head down just to make it more cohesive. And that's his tail club, hence his name, tail club. Put that off to the side. Now we're going to take the rest of the body, fold the neck bit up, come here to the legs, and we're actually going to just rotate these down. There's two slots here and there's two pegs here, and that's how they peg together. And then we're actually going, we're going to bring them down. And then we're actually going to, there's a hole, there's a peg in the hole there. Pinch these together to create that G1 blocky leg. One piece leg. Which I think is great. I just totally dig that. Unfold, uh, unfold the arms like that. Just kind of bring, line them, line them up. And this is Tail Club in his robot mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Mini Dude, since he doesn't have a name, fold him up thusly. The stickers on him came pre-applied, just so you know. And then we're just going to slot him right in there. And there he is, all combined up. I don't know what they're calling this, breast master, chest master. Dude master, I have no idea because they haven't said anything, but it's cool. So he does have a itty bitty head, but it looks kind of funny here. But believe me, in hand it looks really good, really, really good. I just can't get enough of these guys. They're really awesome. Take his club, jam it in his fist. Um, there's a peg here. You can peg it into his. Sh you can peg this into his shoulder as a shield, like that. Or there's a hole right here, and you can straighten his arm out like that. Peg it in like that, and you can have the shield hold it in front of him, like that. So those are your options with the shield. So yeah, like I said, I really can't say enough good things about these. So yeah, as you can see, the club is really big. But yeah, let's, uh, oh, let me do, I didn't do articulation, just take this bit off for now. Um, nothing at the head, shoulders just go around, and nothing at the feet. The end. It's basically G1 articulation, because he basically is a G1 toy, which I still love. So yeah, to get this guy into limb mode, oh, one other thing, if you want to leave this guy in during, in robot mode, or vehicle mode, uh, Alt mode, you can. Let me just, I'm just going to turn him right back into alt mode real quick. These legs peg together very stiffly. Came in. So obviously there he is, all the way back in alt mode, and it's just fine. 
that I moved it. So yeah, so as you can see, he just hides his little head in there and he folds in there just fine. And actually all of them can do this, so if you don't want to store them you know, as riding, you can just literally just leave them in the whole time and drop him. And he's just fine. So that's really cool. So yeah, to transfer, so let's put him in limb mode. Um, leave the head on, put the legs back together. Um, they also do Scramble City. So if you want to have him as an arm, I'll show you an arm mode too. But uh, for leg mode, you want to collapse the legs. Um, what is the official way? Is it like this? I guess it doesn't really matter. Just leave the legs like that. Uh, take this, there's a peg hole at the bottom. Jam him up on that hole. And then what you want to do is rotate this whole torso around. As you can see, the head will clear. And there's a secondary peg, so you don't have to, uh, so you don't have to put that around the right way. Ted, you didn't see that. So you don't have to screw up the head. They actually give you a second connector so that the head doesn't get destroyed, which is very cool. Just fold that up like that. And there you have limb mode. That's his foot mode. Um, the club tail part actually uh, clips onto Tusker's tusk to become the combined weapon. So we'll show that later. But yeah, that's his foot mode. Uh, so to go to arm mode, you can just pull the foot off, extend the legs, rotate the connector bit back, pull the head down, pull it up on the secondary, hinge is another hinge inside in the neck, and there you have arm mode. Um, the, I do have the fists because they, can't, they come with Tusker. Um, that's the, the torso section, and then uh, each, you know, the foot comes with the feet. But um, what's cool is if you put him in arm mode, he does have some wrist or, or some forearm, or I guess elbow articulation because of the uh, the way he transforms. So you actually could get some some extra articulation this way, which is very cool. I don't have the fist on me there with Tusker, but when I show him off combined, I'll show off the fist. So yeah, um, seriously, if you a lot of people are down on these guys because they're they're not new. They're not highly articulated figures with all this posability and uh, they're not they're not characters I knew. Your loss if you don't pick them up. Um, they are fantastic. I believe the little the the limbs are going for like gonna go for like thirty bucks or something ridiculous like that. So there's really no point in not at least buying one and trying it. But like, if you like G1 figures at all, especially G1 combiners, you owe it to yourself to pick these guys up. I'm telling you that now. These guys are absolutely fantastic. They're one of, they might be my new favorite figures. They're just so much fun. They're so easy to transform. You can flip them back and forth, you know, in seconds. They're just, uh, they're wonderful. You really owe it to yourself to pick these guys up and give them a try. So yeah, buy these. But this has been the video review for Fans Projects, Retro Future, Glacial Lords, uh, First Figure, Tail Club.